So I thought it'd be a good time to do another eBay finds. I haven't done one in a while. And I picked up quite a few things in the last couple of weeks that you guys might be interested in. First thing up, I picked this up. Uh, it was right around the same time I got the Vice. Maybe like a week after. So this is a, a Davi Dot half inch 640 series wrench. And I'm guessing it's it's a pretty old. I'm guessing it's probably from the uh, 50s or 60s would be my guess. But this this particular style is not very common at all. Uh, there is a DIN 894, I believe, series that has a hole at one end. But that has a slightly different pattern on the jaw. It was extremely dirty when I got it. Pretty much all these all these reliefs were filled with kind of like a black crud. I guess it's probably like dried motor oil or something, something like that. But it turned out pretty nice after putting it through the Sonic Cleaner. So it's got some uh, some etching on there. It looks like somebody wrote their name. I think it says Means M E A N S. I thought that was kind of cool. So next thing I picked up is a bunch of ratchets, a half inch drive ratchets, and and this was in two separate lots. This this closest one I got separately on its own. And I don't think I paid more than I think it was about it was less than ten dollars. I don't remember exactly, but I paid a little bit more for this set, even though it included this unbranded half inch drive. This one was in a little bit better condition than this one was. But they're basically the same ratchet. They're the 770L. And this one, this closest one I think is a lot older than this one is. It's based on the style and the markings that are on it. But these are the push-through style ratchets. That are very useful for if you have a job where you're only doing tightening or loosening. But if you check out this one ratchet, it almost looks like somebody was taking a machete to it or a hammer or something and it's extremely rough so I'm gonna have to probably file that down or do something there because that's almost unusable the way it is I don't know what somebody was doing with that it could be that they just dropped it a bunch of times you got the arrow going direction and we've we've taken apart a Davi dot version of this design the second one is a little bit newer I think this is newer based on some of the uh, the patina on it and looks like the actual ratchet mechanism is, seems a little bit better shape than this one. The last ratchet, it's kind of a question mark. It was included with with this this one right here. It was just part of a lot. So it it looks like a piece of junk. There's a little symbol on there. I don't know if anybody recognizes that symbol. Be something underneath this handle, but it's a. I don't think it's going to come off easily. But it's not marked at all, so it's kind of strange. It probably is just a generic Taiwan design that was popular in the uh, 80s. This says 12.5 instead of half inch. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's about what a half inch would be in in uh, millimeters. So here's another uh, another really interesting find that goes along with this set. So when I bought this, it's supposed to be the exact same set as this, but there's uh, some differences, obviously, right off the bat. The case is a lot different. The colors are a little bit different as well. So I don't know if it's earlier or later, but I think it is a genuine case. And this, of course, is the Rasul... World War II era uh, socket ratchet set and this one's a lot more complete than the one I got before but it still doesn't look like I can make a complete set based on uh, what I kind of organized earlier it looks like it's still missing a 10 millimeter the only thing it's missing is the actual drive I bet you why that's why I was able to get this set pretty cheaply because it was missing the drive so it's, it's pretty useless as it is now. You can only use the wrenches and the pliers. And we'll take a look at that in a second. But there's a couple interesting things I wanted to point out. First is the colors on the inside is different. It's more of a turquoise. So the other thing I wanted to show is it looks like there's some writing in here. 
and I try my best to try to make out some words in there and uh, it's just I think it's too far gone I think there's enough paint loss that it was actually going over the paint I think it's actually in pencil but it would have been interesting to know what they wrote there if anybody can make that inscription out that'd be helpful I just don't think I think part of that's because I script can be very hard to read sometimes because each person has their own style for writing characters the interesting thing about script I don't know if they still teach that in school now but when I was younger I spent a good part of my childhood in a very rural area and when I was in school they taught you script they taught you script before they taught you how to do non-script writing and then when I moved to a more urban area they didn't teach you that at all and they actually didn't want you writing in script they wanted you to write stuff on the computer it might be a kind of a lost art set the set I got before on the left it has this t-bar which the set doesn't have adapter for this for the ratchet was in the set on the left but not on the right this one was kept in much better condition than this one this one on the left is has a as I noted before a broken piece right there but this set over here it definitely looks like it was taken much better care of and the other interesting thing is is this little set of slip joint pliers so I've never seen one of these before it's very it's a very very tiny pair and it only has it looks like three positions but I can see how they could get lost very easily because they're so tiny but it looks all original there looks like it's got the original hardware on it too and it's definitely a Rasul because it has Vanadium Ultra anything you, anything you find that says Vanadium Ultra is going to be a Rasul tool so for people looking to collect this particular set it looks like what's included is um, you should get a 4 through 14 millimeter socket range and the only one that's missing out of this guy is the 10 and it also looks like it's missing the 5 millimeter as well so it's only missing two sockets so I got the 5 on this set so I could technically put that over there probably keep them separate for now and then you should also get a set of uh, open-ended obstruction wrenches like this that is the same size as 14 through 4 so it looks like it skips a couple of sizes as well but that's what that's what to look out for so it looks like a set also will include this and the t-bar so I haven't cleaned this set yet but it's in pretty good condition I don't think it doesn't look like it's been used for some time and whoever had it last oiled everything pretty pretty nicely alright guys well I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one got some uh, some nice antique tools here so I'll probably I might probably do something separate on these ratchets um, need to do a little research on them so that's uh, pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll catch you guys next time.